Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this one I'm going to talk about food. Because I like food. We all like food. Even if you don't really like it, you need it. I remember when I was in the military, um, the, the, one, the one thing I took for my four years of uh, military experience believe it or not uh, was the fact that I eat pretty fast Be because in the military you know you you get a plate and when you're in basic training uh, you know you got the drill sergeants and they are yelling at you 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 need to eat it you need to eat it all clean plates uh, but you only have so so much time to do it <laughs> it's it, it's an experience and uh, uh, ever since then, I've always eaten really fast because I hated doing all the push-ups if you didn't. <laughs> but still, I love food. <clears throat> so I'm going to talk a little bit about that. Uh, but first, I want to mention that if you like this video, please consider supporting the channel. I have links down below for PayPal and Kofi.com if you could and if you want to. Uh... And the thing is, I need a new phone. The one I have now, my Oppo A5 2020, is on its last legs. Uh, my phone is indicating that there are earbuds plug plugged into it. So I cannot use the microphone slash earbud, earbud uh a hole there you know because according to my phone it's already plugged in even though it's not therefore I can't even listen to anything I can't uh, podcast music YouTube videos I can't I can watch YouTube videos but I, I there's no sound because my phone thinks there's an earbud uh, or something plugged into the microphone jack even though there's not and the uh the front of it is loose from the casing that surrounds it, so it's uh, I have to hold it at a weird angle. Otherwise, the whole thing will just fall apart, fall off, and it sucks. And I would like your assistance in getting a new phone. It's nothing fancy. I'm not talking about a new iPhone or the latest Galaxy or, you know, Samsung pixel anything like that I'm talking about just a just a cheaper but adequate phone that I can because I do everything on my phone in case you don't know uh, all my videos all my voiceovers all basically anything you see with me online is done on my phone if I can't do it on my phone I just don't do it but sound, of course, is a very important part of that. And I, I don't have it now with my phone. I, that's, I mean, it's, you know, four and a half, five years old now. And it's been through thick and thin with me, but it's it's done. Or it's or it's going to be done. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a bug on its back with its little legs kicking. And you just know he ain't going to make it. <laughs> So yeah, if you could donate, that would be great. Help me get a new phone. I would really, really appreciate it. And and I'm talking like a hundred bucks or less. I, I can find them on the marketplace. You, good used ones here with the warranty. For a hundred bucks or less, they're all over. On nothing. And uh, so if you can and if you want to, there is those there are those links down below where you can donate and I would surely appreciate it hey you could also buy some of my books I have links down below for those as well but anyway let's talk about food now uh, and if you're gonna be here on October 26 which as at the time I'm making this video is about three days away I believe I just read about it today CM Reap is hosting a Cambodian 
slash Chinese gastronomy event. It's a two day event on the 26th and 27th that is going to feature over 100 food vendors and they're going to be offering authentic Cambodian and authentic Chinese cuisine. Now, I don't know if you've ever had authentic Chinese food, but in my opinion, it is much, much better than the westernized version you get at Chinese restaurants. <laughs> Some people, you know, when they eat authentic Chinese food for the first time, they get upset because they're like, ah, where's the sweet and sour? Where's all the saucy, uh, the sweet, saucy stuff? And uh, that's generally not what it is. But it is very fresh, very delicious. And uh, there's a hundred vendors if you want to try out some authentic Cambodian or Chinese uh, cuisine. And I'm all for that, of course. And that is coming up. Uh, I've said this before, but I don't think people realize just how many food options there are here in Siem Reap. I mean, this Cambodia in general is a very um, uh, food eccentric country. There's there's a big food scene here, although I wouldn't de I wouldn't quite describe it as people being foodies. It's just people here have to eat, and they like to eat. And they like to eat uh, good, delicious food. I made a short, if you haven't seen my YouTube short, about the guy we get our sandwiches from uh, a few times a week for 50 cents each. Uh, you can go ahead and check that out, but I don't think there is a cuisine or I don't think there's a country whose cuisine is not represented here in some fashion. Well, maybe one. I don't. I don't see. As as far as I can recall, through my experience, I'm not saying it's not available, but I've never seen any Haitian uh, cuisine, and I'm somewhat familiar intellectually with. Uh, Haitian ingredients and the different dishes they use. I've always wanted to try it. It just sounds really, really good. Uh, but I don't think I've seen any uh, Haitian-inspired restaurants here. But anything else you can get. Uh, you can get Greek, you can get Japanese, you can get Chinese, you can get uh, Mediterranean, you can get uh, uh, Arabic, you can get uh, French, American, uh, everything from pizza and burgers to some delightful French creations that I can't even pronounce because I don't speak French. <laughs> There's one right there, it looks like. La, la Bonne Porchette. <laughs> Whatever that. Yeah. <laughs> of course, you know, the French have, uh, have a very big influence here on Cambodia. <laughs> they, uh, they occupied the country for many, many years. And then when Cambodia um, got its freedom back, the French let them a whole bunch of part of their culture that uh, exists today. You can see it in the architecture, French Cambodian architecture. Uh, baguettes are the, by far the most popular bread item, I think in Cambodia, because you can get baguettes everywhere. And I was never a big baguette fan uh, back home. I was a white bread guy, you know, Wonder Bread. <laughs> Uh, but I've come to love the baguette. And of course, you know, you have uh, uh, French inspired names for roads and neighborhoods and everything like Charles de Gaulle, 
uh, Avenue. <laughs> Sounds pretty fancy. That's right here in Seam Reef, one of the main thoroughfares, and that's inspired by when France was occupying Cambodia. But yeah, uh, people come here, and uh, some people complain that they miss the cuisine of their particular country, and that's okay. Uh, but other people come here and they say, I miss the cuisine of my country, so I'm going to make it myself. And then they open a business for everyone else to enjoy as well. And uh, I'm always appreciative of the choices here. So yeah, if you're coming here, uh, you don't have to worry. Whatever you want to eat, you'll be able to find. I mean, you're not just eating rice and bean, rice and green beans <laughs> at every meal, you know. <laughs> I mean, just walking around as I'm doing now, I'm. Since I was on the subject, I never really paid attention, but I know I, we just passed like three or four different types <laughs> of restaurants as I've been making this video. Some of which I've, I've never even noticed before because I, I'm i usually stuck in my head thinking about things when I'm walking, you know? But uh, yeah, they got a, and, and this is just one, one little side street that leads up to uh hey, hey. <coughs> that leads up to a uh, uh, night market road right up there where you see all the cars and tuk tuks so yeah and if we kept going straight down that street I, I think we are actually I mean that's like uh, restaurant after restaurant after restaurant after restaurant there, there are just so many. Uh, and as I, as I mentioned before, and I'm sure you probably know, but, but there, there are also chain restaurants here. You know, you have Burger King, you have KFC, you have Domino's Pizza, you have a Dairy Queen, uh, Starbucks, if that's your thing. Although, yeah, my, my coffee is a, Local, it's only 75 cents, a big iced coffee. I love it. But if that's your thing, you can find that here. If you want a little bit of a little bit of Western fast food, when if every once in a while I get that craving, you know. I just want something that I'm familiar with, something that's greasy, something that's something that's bad for me, but I, I'm just hungry for it. <laughs> and uh yeah. Every, uh, probably two or three times a year, I'll get something from the Burger King there, get me a Whopper meal, just to satisfy that craving. But it's generally not a cuisine I prefer. Because after you've been here a while and you experience the freshness of, of Kamai cooking, uh, it's nutritious, it's delicious, it's, it, it just fills you up. Um, I remember the very first time after arriving in Cambodia when I ate at a Burger King. It was like a year and a half or two years after I'd arrived. I got a hankering for it. And as soon as I ate it, it was delicious. I have no issues with the taste. But as soon as I ate it about, I mean, I walked out of there and I could feel it was like, like a, a lead ball sitting in my stomach. Because I was so... Uh, disassociated from all of those um, uh, processed bad for you greasy junk food I used to eat all the time back in back when I was in the United States and it hit me hard <laughs> so I I don't eat there often just when I get a craving all right Thank you very much for joining me. And check out all my links down below, as I said. 
Uh, I have PayPal. I have Kofi.com and all that good stuff. Other channels that I follow, that I watch, they are listed down below. Very good channels. Vlogging from around these here parts. And you should definitely check them out and see what they have to offer. And from Seam Reap, Cambodia, I will talk to you guys in the next one.